I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Wednesday afternoon, February 2nd, Groundhog Day, we have a system that's bringing mainly some light freezing rain and freezing drizzle to portions of the Panhandle, including Yakutat down through uh, Gustavus, Sitka, Juneau, and also further south down, down toward uh, the Hyder area. And this precipitation has been on the lighter side, but because it is freezing, winter storm warning is in effect uh, overnight into the, at least uh, through the morning of Thursday. Uh, though temperatures are gonna be rising uh, above freezing in, in all areas there of the Panhandle as we get into uh, later Thursday and by Friday. Meanwhile, we're gonna be watching uh, another low pressure lift out of the North Pacific into uh, just south of the uh, Alaska Peninsula. It's going to split a part of it going off into the Bering side of the Alaska Peninsula, another part going into the Western Gulf. That low is going to bring another round of uh, snow and mixed precipitation, especially the Panhandle Northern Gulf Coast, and some of that moisture is going to spread farther northward too, up into the uh, Copper River Basin. And as a result, we do have a, a blizzard warning in effect for Thompson Pass. We're also going to have a winter weather advisory or something issued there for the Copper River Basin. Further west, we have winter weather advisory for southwest Alaska, including Dillingham. And then a blizzard warning for the lower Kuskokwim uh, area, including Bethel, because of uh, that uh, system lifting northeastward with a push of moisture and stronger winds. There's also high wind warnings along the east side of Norton Sound and wind advisories uh, that extend uh, south of there as well around Grayling uh, and uh, west of McGrath. We also have winter weather advisories in effect for uh, St. Lawrence Island in the west side of the Seward Peninsula and also the interior areas around uh, Tanana, Bettles, Fort Yukon just north and west of Fairbanks for wind chills as cold as 50 below zero though uh, as we expect uh, the coldest air is going to remain out over the northern part of the state it here as we head into the early weekend thanks to high pressure that extends from eastern Russia across the north slope into uh, the Canadian Arctic coast and we will uh, expect uh, the colder air later this weekend and early next week begin to settle back down into the west side of the state so there will be a temporary moderation in temperature we'll see some readings uh, getting above freezing there especially Kodiak Island the uh, Kenai Peninsula northern Gulf Coast here early this weekend for Alaska statewide weather I'm Peter Chan